At age six, Jeff Johnson was kicked in the face by an open hammer shotgun. Some say the incident stunted his growth, but one thing's for sure, the crack of that old gun got Jeff hooked on shooting. He's since traveled the world, writing about hunting and firearms for America's foremost publications. And a few million rounds of ammo later, most agree he's become a perfectly average shot. These are his stories. I've often said that once you shoot guns with a suppressor, it's almost hard to shoot them any other way. They just offer so many advantages. One of the disadvantages, though, is most suppressors are stupidly hot. I mean, if you dump, you know, 20, 30, 40 rounds through an AR and mess up and touch one of these guys, you can bank on melted skin. But recently, a company called Small Arms Technologies out of Kansas City has uh, offered a carbon fiber suppressor. I thought it was very interesting because they claim it's much cooler to the touch after you shoot rounds. So I'm thinking that's great. Use a suppressor with all the benefits, only you don't burn the crap out of yourself. But I wanna know, it just seems like it may not be as durable. So it's a brand new product and I've got a couple of them here. One's a 30 caliber called the CF30 from carbon fiber. Now you might be wondering who this large man standing behind me is, that's Frank. Frank's an expert in this. He deals uh, in suppressors. He's a class three dealer and a manufacturer. A couple questions to you. What do you think of it? Have you ever seen one? And do you see any problems potentially? It looks cool. I'd like to compare the weight, check out the durability, and then actually see the heat dissipation. I'm curious, it is heavier. And I noticed on their you know website in, in thinking about it, you would think it would be lighter, but this CF uh, 30 they did make a little bit more robust but i noticed on their website it said 15 ounces i just weighed this one it was closer to 25 ounces so i called them i said what gives and he said that was a, a typo i will say though that the pistol suppressor here for the 45 is is much much lighter but uh this cf30 is made more robust so we have a couple of uh temperature gauges here we're gonna dump 30 rounds a magazine each through this excellent, I love this uh, Dead Air Sandman S, and then here's the old standby uh, Silencer Co. Harvester. And these are great suppressors, I love them. They do heat up though, like most suppressors that are, that are steel or titanium. But I just wanna see, I wanna compare them. We'll also stand back and see how they do as far as mitigating the sound, which that's supposed to be what suppressors are for. The reason I'm not gonna sit here and, and you know spend 100 rounds or 200 rounds, I've got no interest in melting my barrel or, or melting these, these suppressors. We all know that you can do that if you want to. I think it's ridiculous. I think more from a practical, tactical standpoint. Most people, what do you think, Frank, like to dump their magazine, correct? Correct. If it can do that, I'm happy with it. So let's see what happens. This is 223 out of a 30 caliber can. Ready? And I know that suppressors heat up. You know, they start getting hotter and hotter. Right. Take it right now and start telling me what they what it is. That spot right there is 261. Now I'm going to thread on the CF30 from Small Arms Technologies. Fire in the hole. So it's uh, right now, I mean, it's not, not even hot. All in all though, I think this company, Small Arms Technologies, done a pretty good job of, of mitigating um, the heat buildup, at least if you're riding around Frank hunting hogs or something. Absolutely. Happen to shoot, you know, 10 or 15 rounds. At least it's, if it touches your leg or whatever in the automobile, it's not gonna melt your skin. I'm Jeff Johnston, that's no BS.